So now that we have all the basic things down of the uh, equipment, we would like to be able to save it. And to save it, we need to open the inventory script. And inside the inventory script, we need to be able to override our save inventory. And we need to be able to override our load inventory because we need to handle that totally different on our character panel. So we can make public virtual void and the same here public virtual void here and let's save that so now our load inventory has been uh, uh, overridable and our save inventory is also overridable so let's go to our character panel and let's go to the bottom here and down here we're gonna say public override and we're gonna override our save inventory first and in our save inventory we are going to make a string so string content equals string dot empty so we have an empty string and when we start saving our stuff we basically need to say four for each uh, for loop here and we need to run through all the items we have inside our equipment slots um, array here so down here we need to say um, equipment slots dot length sorry dot that length there we go and if our equipment slot I so the so the item we're looking at right now is empty not available but empty and we're gonna make an exclamation mark here so we are running through our uh, all our slots and if that slot isn't empty, well, then we need to save something. So we need to save um, the slot's position and the, the type of item that's there. Um, so we can say content plus equals i. That's the number of times you run. And we know the slot's position by looking at the index plus. Then we're going to add this line here so we know where to split it. Uh, plus equipment slots i dot items dot peak item dot item name plus so what we're doing here we're gonna have a string that looks something like this if we have on slot one we're gonna have one here or a zero and it's just gonna look like this we're gonna have a zero dash um, hammer or whatever um, and then we're gonna have it like this so this is how we're gonna save it on slot zero we are gonna put the hammer and then we're gonna find that when we load it and when we're done with that we're gonna say player prefs dot set string uh, char panel content there we go and then we're gonna save it player prefs dot save and let's save this okay so that is our load inventory it's basically the same as we had before in our other inventory but it's just more simple so we're gonna say public override save inventory uh, oh sorry not save load public override load inventory of course and we're not going to call the base here either so first of all we're going to clear all um, all the slots so we're going to say for each um, slot slot in our uh, equipment slot and the reason that we clear all of them is because if we had some items already and we're load loading then we should remove all the items we already had because maybe you played one time and you um, found some boots and you had a save game with uh, a helmet so if you load then your boots shouldn't be on your character when you load they should of course be removed so slot dot clear slot there we go so now we are clearing everything before we load so string dot content sorry not string dot content string 
content equals player prefs dot get string char panel so we save the string up here as char panel and we are loading it down here into this and then we split it into um, split content in between so we have all the items in an array string split content equals content to split and we need to split on this character here because that's the character we told it to end with here so when when we meet this character then we know that our um, that our item is done reading so we need to read the next item and put it into split content gonna make a for loop and it's gonna run split content dot length minus one so the reason I said minus one is because split content everything is gonna end with this semicolon and this means that we are gonna have one extra item inside split content which doesn't in contain anything so I'm gonna say minus one to make sure we don't get an empty item and then we're gonna say um, string array split values equals split content i split and we are going to split on this character so split uh, values is going to contain everything before this so it's going to contain the number item like the the value um, where to put it the index of what to say and then we can say um, int index equals int 32 pass split values zero okay so this split values will contain something that looks like this um, on slot zero it will contain an index for example one and on slot one it will contain name like mighty hammer like this for example so now I'm taking the index and saving here so I know I need to put a mighty hammer on index one for example so the name should be string item name equals split values one there we go so now we save the index where to put it and the name what to load and then we say game object loaded item equals instantiate inventory manager dot instance dot item object and then we're gonna say loaded item dot add component because we need to add the correct script to it item script okay so here we need to do something else because as you can see we have uh, some different indexes here um, let's see if we run the game can we do that I haven't said anything yes so if we see here we have index 9 and index 10 that is our weapons so we need to take that into account because all the other items is inside our item container um, equipment uh, if we look here so so basically we need to say if index equals 9 or index equals 10 then we need to say loaded item that get component item script that item equals inventory manager that instance that item container that weapons that find and if it's not else here we are going to do the exact same thing we're just gonna look somewhere else than weapons so it's only slot 9 and 10 where we need to look for a weapon and then we need to find uh, x x that item name equals item name there we go 
Okay, so we are looking inside the item container weapons to find every time we find a weapon in there we name it X and we check if X name is equal to the item name we just found up here so the item we need to place in our um, character panel so if that's true well then we are going to move on else we're going to do the exact same thing just copy this one paste it here and then look in the equipment instead and that's basically it there now that we have found our item we need to add it to the to the character panel so equipment slots index dot add item loaded item that get component item script so here we are adding um, the found item to the character panel and then we need to destroy loaded item and we need to calculate stats again because we just loaded everything and save so let's try to go out here and see if it works and see if there's something we've forgotten pick up some items let's see, take these on and we save we didn't get any exceptions or anything when we saved just gonna have to clear and play on um, and I'm gonna stop my game I'm gonna play again and then I'm gonna load and my items goes into um, my character panel and my stats are also loaded so I can throw this one away and load and I'll get them again uh, I just noticed one thing actually when we throw something away let's load um, let's see if we do like this then my stats are decreased but if I pick up an item and drop it on the ground then my stats are not decreased not until I take the next item off so we need to fix that as well so that we can decrease our stats when we do that but now the loading actually works we, we can get our items back um, as you can see and we can equip an axe and we can save that throw it away and load yes okay and the um, tooltip is also there so let's, let's try to fix that little thing where we don't get our stats reduced when we drop an item so let's jump into our inventory script because up here inside update we're actually dropping our items and it's in here we need to recalculate our stats because right now we're only calculating when we're swapping something around but inside this if statement if mouse inside inventory manages that the instance from isn't null in here we are actually dropping something as you can see here we are dropping something uh, around our character and down here after we have destroyed our uh, or cleared our slot actually we can uh, check if we took our item from the character panel and if we took the item for the character panel well then we should just recalculate our stats so we can say if um, we can actually just take like this one if from dot transform the parent equals uh, character panel dot instance dot transform then we need to say character panel dot instance dot calculate stats there we go so when we have calculated those let's save and try to run our game to see if it actually works so let's try pick up some items we have a ring equip the ring we gained some stats we picked up the ring and dropped it on the ground we lost our stats again and we can get them again by picking it up so now it should actually work fine with the equipment and stats removal like this and we should be able to save drop our items and we should be able to load and regain our stats as you can see so one more thing before we wrap up is that we want to put our um, item type on the tooltip here as you can see I can't see that this is actually a ring 
it's not written any, anywhere else on, on, unless I look at the name here. So let's go into our script here. And inside our item script, it's actually where we want to go. Um, see, yes, it's inside the item script I want to be. So in the item script, um, we had some tooltip down here. And here we actually just need to add on the what is it called the the name of the or the type of the actual item. So after the I here we're gonna make a new line, and we are going to add an extra thing here, and that extra thing that goes in here on this base should be the item type to string to lower. And the reason that I say to lower is because uh, our, uh, if I can remember where we put it, was it inside equipment item script? Yeah, because all these are written in capital letters. And if I write to lower, it's going to take offhand and make it into offhand like this instead. And that's what I want. You, you don't need to put it to lower if you don't want to. Uh, I'm just going to do it. So where was I? I was inside the item script and I saved this. So let's see if this has any effect on the tooltip. So if we open up here, it's written here, head for the helmet is the belt and the shoulders. Um, consumable is written here and so on. As you can see with consumables, there's like one space too many or something that's just going in and adjusting that. So resources, one more to the left or something. Um, but yeah, else everything actually works. This is an offhand and so on. So I can see that this is a head, so I need to take that and put it on the head slot, of course. So I think that's basically it. Um, if you find any bugs, if you have some things you think that I should add, um, because it's very necessary for an inventory, well then just write a comment or write me an email, and I will of course add it to this tutorial um, because right now I think we have the most basic functionality for this um, I don't know what else I should add right now um, because it has the stats, it has the tooltips, it has uh, the drop ability and we can yeah, gain stats and so on so yeah that's basically it for this part of the tutorial um, if you're interested in the code and everything and if you like the tutorial then I would appreciate a lot if you would support me either by going to my homepage and buying this tutorial um, with um, the scripts and everything and all the scripts are of course fully line commented um, and you can also support me by being a patron um, and if you do that well then you will get all the tutorials I've made uh, like all the scripts and all the projects to all the tutorials I've ever made um, just for five bucks a month and every time I add some more it's of course available for download for you if you have bought one of the tutorials um, uh, or if you have bought one, one tutorial of uh, this part of course then you can just download part 7 of, as well so every time I add a new part you of course download that for free so thank you very much for watching and thanks for reporting all the bugs and everything it's awesome that you guys are testing my stuff and using it in your games and then you are um, uh, telling me when there is a bug or something so keep telling me about bugs and keep coming with um, um, suggestions for adding onto this inventory yes thanks for watching